What's up, my name is Spencer. Uh, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at this frame effect that you're seeing right now. Over the past couple months, uh, the world has become a pretty weird place and to keep everybody safe, a lot of the filming um, of interviews and stuff has kind of come to a stop. And that means the interviews that are going on are self-filmed. So using computers, laptops, cell phones, that kind of thing. So I made this frame mat to put over top everything. That way I could just put everybody's footage underneath. Today I'm gonna to be covering just the basic Mogert that you're seeing right now. But if you actually wanna create something a little bit more slick that you can throw your client's logo in the background, uh, just like this, uh, I've actually included the After Effects file as well. So you can go and poke around in that and yeah, let's just get right into it. All right, so just type in frame and you'll find the Mogert and drop that on and do not forget that it's in 4K, so just set it to your comp size and that's it. That's all you need to do. You'll see your footage um, as soon as you drop it on. So I actually get this question a lot with Mogerts, but um, obviously if you have a talking head clip that's kind of long, just hit the R on your keyboard to bring up that rate stretch and just stretch it out because there's no animated elements. All right, so now we can just kind of, let's just scale down our clip to fit. That looks okay there. So let's just dive in to the essential graphics. So we got the background color, and then we actually have a master scale, if we want to make this smaller, and position, if we want to move that around the frame. And then I added a vignette at the at the edges just to darken it up give it a little bit of character so if you drop down the outer frame and inner frame drop down menus you get a little bit more control with how, how everything looks you know you control the actual scale of just the individual elements and the uh, opacity of each and i've actually added um you know a little bit of of roundness and a stroke as well just around the frame we got some button control as well. We'll just I'll just drop them down so you can see. So yeah, you can turn them off just with the opacity and change each color. There's a ton of versatility uh, in this Mogurt, so I hope you get some use out of it for all those self-film clips. I've also included an After Effects file in the download just in case you want to throw a logo in the background. Um, here's an example that I've done, and I've done the best that I can to try to create a loop every 10 seconds. And all you need to do to switch it, switch it out is size your logo to this comp. So just grab your, whatever logo you want and put it in this comp. And if you don't want it to move, say you just want it to, you know, just chill in the background, this is the comp that you're looking at here. So yeah, you could just turn this off. It's just a, a motion tile that I keyframed and I left the keyframes open just in case you wanted to speed it up, slow it down or stretch it out. And yeah, so you can just have it chilling in the background. You can do your own animation with it. That's it. As always, there's a free link in the description and thanks for watching this video. And if you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, peace.